Uh, that was an awful thing that happened to you. Your nice little doggy bit off your lip. Right. <laughs> I mean, now, that is not a cool thing no, to happen. No, that is not. Uh, uh, and so, uh, did you have a have the lip in your hand, or? That's the first question the nurse asked me in the emergency room. Where's your lip? I didn't know it was gone. Uh, the the dog, as I bent down, the dog jumped up. Accident, and the mouth of the dog being a shelter with a little pointed lip like that closed here and closed down from my nose to this side over here, took that lip off. I didn't know what it was because it's so much blood. I had no Mm -hmm. idea. So I just grabbed a towel, put it on it, called some friends said, I think I need to go to the emergency room. First thing they said to me is, where is your lip? Well, I had no idea. I didn't know if the dog had eaten it or where it was. I didn't know where the lip was. Now, now, now you're, you're, you're talking um, kind of the up, which I understand why, because I know what happened. Yeah. However, at that time, I don't think you were so up. Oh, I wasn't up at all. I mean, here I am, you know. Uh, no, I was horrified. Horrified. I would imagine. Yeah, I was absolutely you're de- horrified. You're deformed now. I'm deformed. And so they told me I needed plastic surgeon. The plastic surgeon came in, and he instantly said, I can't do anything. He said, if it was the bottom lip, it would reproduce itself. This is the top lip. It won't reproduce itself. Mm. And he said, I can't do anything. He says, it's ragged. I've got to cut it again and then pull it together. And uh, he said, we're going to have to go to surgery right now. And then you have to have three to six more surgeries. And I instantly said, I will never have another surgery. And he just looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, uh, and on top of that, it's my lip. I'm going to pray for you. So I took, took his hands, never met this guy in my life. Took his hand, prayed for him, went into the, uh, to the surgery, woke up in the middle of him sewing up my lip with black gut stuff. Mm-hmm. As he's sewing up my lip, I heard him tell the nurse, I don't know why I didn't do this. I normally sew the lip totally up, come back three weeks later, slit it. And I'm thinking, I'm a preacher, don't do that. I'm thinking all this, you know, can't right. say anything. And, uh, uh, and I said, thank God. That that's why you didn't sew it up. When I came out, my nose was sitting over here on this side because he pulled it. They had to pull it. So I'm wopsided like this, Sid. I'm wopsided. The only part of my lip that's open is a little teeny hole right over here. And I could just talk with a microphone like, like this on this side. You could yeah, but you're not going to talk on a microphone with it. I had you're a looking. healing explosion 10 days later. I had a healing me. I know, but don't you know what you look like? Yes, I did. Okay. I knew. (laughs) And when I went in, the first thing I said was, okay, everybody look, you know, this is the way it is. And what I ended up doing was I went home and I got all the pictures of me smiling because he told me I would never smile again. They'd never be able to see my teeth ever again. And uh, I got every picture of me smiling, plastered it all over all the mirrors, all over the, uh, in the kitchen, everywhere. And then every time I'd go by a mirror or go by something, I'd speak to that lip and I would command it in the name of Jesus to move. I'd command it uh, maybe 30 times a day. I command you to, he said it wouldn't move, remember? It couldn't move. And I said, I command it to move. When I'd go back to see him, I'd ke- I kept saying, no, I will never have another surgery. I will never have a surgery. And he kept trying, he brought out a book with cleft lips and all kinds of deformities. And he said to me, I want you to look at this. I said, I will never look at it. I don't want to get it in my mind. I will never look at it. I won't look at anything except pictures of me smiling and what I want this lip to do. And the day that I had the healing explosion that I looked so bad, I turned my back to the congregation. And I said, it's every man for himself. I turned my back to the congregation and I said, I command you to move. And God is my witness. I've never had a surgery, not one single thing. And see, I think you can count my teeth pretty well. 